two, one. Hey everyone, I am back after two weeks of being on vacation. Ugh, what a fabulous time that I had with my family. So when I returned from vacation, I was going through my inbox and sorting all of my emails from my clients and for this segment, the Ask Flora segment. And I was kind of shocked to see how many emails came in over the last two weeks about the same topic. I actually counted and there was 21 emails regarding this particular topic. So I'm not gonna be reading any one particular email because there was so many that were addressing the same thing. And the topic that came up was, my spouse doesn't support me and my work. Should I stay with them or should I leave? And this is something that frequently comes up in the metaphysical community and the new age community is the, the expectation that our spouse or partner should support and understand and be a cheerleader for what we do in our, in our spiritual practice. So one of the things that I have to ask you or that I want to ask you to kind of spark this inner dialogue with yourself is do you support yourself in your spiritual practice? And what that could look like is when you think about your spiritual practice, does it feel fulfilling? I have a video called um, How to Get Off the Spiritual Bandwagon. I would recommend that you watch that one if you're not really sure if you really support yourself or not. So what do I mean by do you support yourself in your endeavors? Do you put things in place that set you up for success, that really allow you to get centered in your practice, to allow you to get centered in your business, in whatever it is that you're seeking support on or about. And then if you don't support yourself, what are some things that you could put in place that will allow you to support yourself? For And I'll just give you a short example. One of the things that I do to support myself in my business is I make a list of things that I wanna do the next day, the night before. The, the absolute, I must get these done the next day. And I follow through with it. I feel supported in my business when I do that. Another thing that I do to support myself is I make sure that I get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Another thing that I do is I get my D3 in every day, which is daily divine dialogue. It's, it's that divine dialogue with my peeps, with my higher celestial uh, team. So ask yourself, do you support yourself in any of your endeavors that you have? The next thing that I wanna ask you is if your spouse or your partner would support you, what would that support look like? Would it be them listening to you for two hours, going on about a book that you just read or a class that you just took or a project that you're working on? Or would it look like them just saying, oh, rock on, that's exciting. So what would support from them look like for you? Another thing that I wanna ask you is do you support them in whatever it is that they do, whatever it is that they're passionate about, do you support them to the same level that you want them to support you? And then the last question that I have for you is, do you connect with your tribe who understands what it is that you're going through? So if you're an entrepreneur, do you connect with other entrepreneurs? If you're a spiritual entrepreneur, which many of you watching this video are, do you connect with other spiritual entrepreneurs and give them support? Do you ask for support? So allow yourself to really look at these questions and allow yourself to really think about and mull over, do you support yourself? And if your spouse or partner were to support you, what would that look like? What would that feel like for you? And get really specific so that you can ask for it, okay? And then also, do you support your spouse or your partner in the things that they're passionate about? And then lastly, do you have a tribe that you run with that you can offer support and also ask for support for whatever it is that you're doing? If you're an author, do you run with other authors? So think about this, really allow yourself to open up to the possibilities, allow yourself to honestly answer these questions and 
there you go. So I hope you found value in this Ask Floor episode. If you have, please click subscribe and like and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and any other social media platform, as well as an email. And if you have a question for one of these Ask Flora segments, please email it to me, flora at florasage.com, and I would be happy to include it in the next Ask Flora segment. Until next time, bye-bye.